Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I am so excited to share with you guys my guest room makeover. This is a long time coming. I have been working on this for a while and I don't know as if I've ever showed this room in a video before, so I cannot wait to show you what I've done with the space. But also, today's video is a collaboration with Kate and Meg here on YouTube. You guys are going to absolutely love their channel. They are two sisters living in two different states, collaborating and making YouTube videos together. I also know them in real life. We grew up in the same hometown, so I am so excited to be collaborating with them today. Definitely go and check out their video it is linked in my description box when you are done watching mine make sure that you are subscribed to their channel and before you leave if you are not subscribed to mine make sure you click that red subscribe button because I would love to have you let's go ahead and jump right into today's makeover so I did leave out some footage of getting a few of the furniture pieces in here. A few weeks ago, my parents brought down this bed from their house and a couple other pieces of furniture for another room that I will be sharing with you very soon. But we didn't have a bed frame for this bed down here and I decided that I wanted to move my headboard and bench that was at the end of my bed in my room down here because this is an adjustable headboard. It works for a full bed or a queen bed and I just thought that it would look so nice with this room and I I think that it fit really perfectly so we had to bring that down and hook it up to the bed it was super easy to attach to the back of the bed frame and then we're gonna bring down the bench and just kind of see how that all fits in the room and I was really pleased with how it turned out Now that the headboard and bench are down here in the guest room, I can start looking for replacements in my bedroom, which is a great way to save money because shopping within your own house allows you to rearrange. It makes it feel like the furniture is brand new to you. Even though it's not, you're just moving it to a different room. So that is a great way to save money if you wanna get just a few new items in your house. Speaking of saving money, I also already had this curtain rod and these curtain panels here. They were in my old apartment and most of my windows in my old apartment there was only one window per room and this is the only room in my house that has one window the rest of them have two windows so I was only able to reuse one set of my panels from my apartment and these are the ones that I chose for this room I just think that the white looks really nice and clean and then I hung these little I don't even know what you call them they almost look like medallions I don't know what they are but I hung these up on the wall on either side of the window I just think they look so nice and then Jack and I took a trip to Bed Bath & Beyond. I had had my eye on this bedside table for a while and I saw that it was 15% off and I had a 20% off coupon as well. So I got 35% off this bedside table. He had to get it out of the box for me because it was so heavy. But I absolutely love the way that this looks and you will see in just a second when I unwrap it that it matches those two things that I put up on the wall perfectly. Like I could not have planned it better if I tried. I'm just getting some of the residue off of the outside of it from when it was put in the box. And I don't know if you guys can see on the back that this is one of those bedside tables that has a little like power strip built into the back so I think there's like two plugs and like a USB thing back there so you actually plug the bedside table into the outlet and then you can plug all of your things into the back of it which is perfect because behind the bed is the outlet for this wall and it is so far behind the bed it would be almost impossible to get to and you'll see in just a minute I do kind of struggle with getting the lamp unplugged and plugging everything back in but this just makes it easier for guests they don't have to pull the bed away from the wall and get to the plug it's just so difficult so this really makes my life so much easier If you 
guys have seen some of my other renovation videos, then you may have seen the video where we did a ton of the doors in the house because they were pretty dingy and gross. Some of them actually had little cracks in the door that we needed to put wood filler in. So there are only two or three more doors in the house that we have left. We have done every closet, pantry, bedroom, bathroom door, you name it, we've done it. So there's only a couple left and this guest room door was one of the ones that we needed to do. So if you've seen that video, then you kind of know how it works and I'll link it so you guys can check it out if you haven't. But we're just gonna give the door a light sand down, wipe all the dust off, and then we're gonna give it some coats of paint. And I will have the paint that I use linked in the description box as well. If you guys love really bright white paint, this is the Bare Ultra White paint and it is so shiny and of course in the semi-gloss finish. We used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry I can see it in your eyes You don't wanna talk anymore I wanna get so numb, wanna get so numb while we enemies I also should mention that we don't normally paint like this in the kitchen, but if you guys live on the East Coast or you live in the South, somewhere where it is very hot, then you know that the temperatures lately have been insane. I think on this day it was like 107 with the heat index and we just could not stay outside any longer. We didn't want to do any sanding inside the house because that would make a huge mess, but we just laid the tarp down and then we were able to paint inside and honestly it was so nice to be in with the air conditioning. It did take about two days to do the door because we did have to flip it over and let it dry and everything before we could do the other side. But once we were finished, it was time to hang it back up. And if you guys saw in the other renovation videos, we replaced all the hardware and all the knobs on all the doors. But this one actually didn't need to be replaced. It had the correct hardware on it that I already wanted. I did clean it up a little bit. It was a little grimy and oily, so I did take a toothbrush to it and just scrub it a little bit. But we were able to save some money by re purposing the hinges and the doorknob that were already here. So I'm holding the door and Jack is going ahead and screwing it in. Just get me out of here. have to do is put the doorknob in and I just absolutely love the finish of these knobs and hinges. I am a big fan of the oil rubbed bronze look. If you guys have seen some of my other videos then you have probably seen that I have it all over my house, my kitchen faucet, a lot of my light fixtures have the same finish. I really wanted to go with consistency throughout. Cause if you're not home I wonder where you slept last night. Are you seeing someone new behind my back? Kiss another dude for a little romance. Pick up the phone, I really need to understand. All right, so now we are moving on to my favorite part, which is decorating. And like I said earlier, I am a really big fan of shopping within my own house. So most of these items are pretty old or I bought within the last six months or so. Like these bookends, I got these at Hobby Lobby within the last couple of months, but everything else I've had for quite a while. And you'll notice that I use this empty Ikea pot, but don't worry, I do have plans to put a plant in here. I'm actually currently propagating one of my pothos plants, so I will be replanting that here very soon and this bookshelf is a perfect place to do some decorating because there's not a lot of surfaces in here the bedside table is pretty small and at some point I'd love to get a dresser in this room as well but for now this is my main space for decorating 
And if you guys don't know, I am an elementary school teacher, so I have tons of books. Not only do I have books that I like to read, but sometimes I have books that I use in my classroom, in my house. So I definitely need space to put books in a actual bookshelf. So I'm using these bookends just to hold up some of my books. And then you'll see me play with a few different options for how I wanted to decorate this. Trust issues, never had to break the rules. Always trying to tell the truth and care about what I say. I've been trying to do my best and keeping my promises. Never want a second guess, but when it comes to you, now that I think I have everything where I want it, I'm just going to light this candle and a fun little trick, if you can put the top of the candle as the base, then it just shows all of the beautifulness of the lid, especially if you have a candle that has a really pretty lid. But this is the final look and I'm not 100% sure that it's going to stay that way. If you guys know me, I like to rearrange all the time especially because a lot of my decor is very similar in other rooms of my house so it makes it super fun to switch things out but this is what I'm going for for right now it is simple clean and honestly after I finished this I was like wow I would love to be a guest in my own house I might actually sleep in this bed but it just looks so nice and clean I think that anyone who comes over is going to feel really welcomed and I've actually already had some friends stay one time but the room wasn't fully decorated so I'm very excited to have some more people come over now and I love the way this window even though there's only one in this room and the room can feel kind of dark sometimes I think going with the white sheer curtains was definitely the way to go I love that little shelf with the yellow shelves on it I think it is so cute and this is how the whole room turned out. I think it looks amazing. You'll see in just a second how crisp and white those doors are. Honestly, if you don't feel like painting your doors, wiping them down is so important because look at what a difference it is. I mean, the hardware just totally pops. I think it looks so great. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that it gave you lots of inspiration. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and definitely go check out Kate and Meg's video next. I know you guys are certainly going to love them as well. And I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video. Bye, guys. Here's your time to shine, oh show me what you can do